come into all fours. So what that means is you need to have your wrists always aligned underneath your shoulders and your knees always aligned under the hips. Your hands are shoulder width distance and your knees are hip width distance. What we are going to do is drop the spine down as you lengthen upwards with the chin and the tailbone. On the exhale, you'll round through the shoulders, pull the belly in and bring your chin to your chest as you look to your navel. Come to a neutral spine. You start by keeping your feet parallel and then step right out in parallel but making sure that the distance between your feet is about four to four and a half feet. So we turn the left foot in to a 30 degree angle but making sure that the foot is not peeling off the mat Turn the right foot out to a 90 degree angle. As you inhale, slowly float your arms up. And as you exhale, making sure you tighten the left glute muscle and tighten your knees. Keep reaching towards the right. Think of length, a lot of length. Place your palm on the brick. Place the left hand on your hip. And slowly, with the next exhalation, Think of opening your chest and look up towards the ceiling. Lengthen the arm up, your shoulder, your upper back and your right hand all in one line. As you inhale, lock your knees, stabilize and slowly lengthen back up. Exhale, release the arms down and turn the foot in. Stretch your leg out. Sit up nice and straight, stretch both your legs out and then bend your left foot, bring your left foot over your right. Once again, stretch your right hand up, use your right elbow, push your knee in, hold your ankle and look back. This is a little more difficult than the first version, but the benefits are a little more as well.